Hey everyone, this is Ari Olin, and we're back to another episode of Ari Olin's Heart Rate Gaming. Back to Murdered Soul Suspect. We just got to the cemetery and followed a very creepy girl spirit. Was that, was that a shadow person? Oh. I had to ask about that Grim Reaper tattoo. I know it says cheated death right on it, but I didn't know how or why. Then he showed me the scar. Getting stabbed between the ribs like that could have easily been fatal. It's a miracle he's alive, and it didn't stop him from stealing again. He'll never learn. Why do I like that? <laughs> I don't know. Why do you like that? Okay, so there's a ghost guy up here. Let's talk to him. Uh, you okay? You okay? I don't know. I was so drunk. Both of them. One minute her hands were all over me, the next I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Oh my gosh. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. So did he fall in the water and bust his head and yeah. die? Or did she just leave him face down in the water to drown? I should go. Can I cross? No. Uh, there's one of those. No. Okay, never mind. Do, do person over here? Oh! Oh, it's the girl. That's it makes you miss the walk to the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight. Keep it down. I can't see you, and we're not talking to each other. Oh. Right? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Yeah, we're still people. <laughs> The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. Oh. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Oh, probably ask for my help because you're completely useless. Just leave it to me. Yeah, just let me handle all of it because you just stand there with the book and touch physical things. Gosh. Okay. More murders to uncover. This place sure is, like, littered with them. Oh, look. Old police tape. Left behind. Coffee cups and police tape. Okay. Oh, there's something down there. Oh. Oh, it looks like a body. Oh, it looks like that creepy little girl that we saw. Oh. Uh. Oh, goodness. Oh, now I feel a little bad for her. Another ghost saw the victim's body float down here for Bup River. He might know more about it. Oh, but she was really, really creepy. Hi. Excuse me, but uh, you see the police investigation there a few weeks back. Gosh, only a few Not weeks exactly. between murders? Sure. Sure. Shoreline thing. You think there was something behind you, but you didn't bother to look? Huh. What was that? Oh, I could go inside this. Wait, why would the buildings in the city be consecrated, but a tomb wouldn't be? Seems a little well, you backwards. Know about the girl who washed up here. This thing floated down the river by her body. I think it ended up in the bushes A thing? Hidden in the bushes. Okay. Bushes. These bushes? Oh, yes. Hard to see. Oh, okay. 
girl. It's too dark in these bushes. Come bring your useful flashlight and poke your head in these bushes. Find the strange thing. Okay. Doesn't, I mean, it's gonna have to be a ghost object, right? Because, I mean, the police did a full investigation here. There's no way they would have missed something just because it was in the bushes. What do you see? Oh my gosh, for reals? They completely missed a rope. A noose. A, a restraining device. The cops would have found that. Well, there's ropes in this picture, so... They would have found that. This is that river. Find out how she died. Let her tell Joy. Yeah, I guess we better bring her with, just in case we need a door open for her to shut it in our face. Come on. Body washed up on the floor, so she was murdered up there. Wherever the police would have set up a second Miles investigation. Of both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Genius would be a needle side. Falling ghost. Should we just ask her? Hmm. Sophia. Hmm. Oh crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching her. Freaky girl on the Oh, uh, there she is again. from demons. Okay, so, um, can I just ignore the demons this time? I don't want to mess with them. <gasps> Stay up there. No, no. <laughs> Stay up there. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Okay. Okay, we can uh, probably do this. Can I just run? Whew. Okay. So far, so good. Reckless Ronin. I suppose I should expect that a man with that many tattoos isn't afraid of pain and isn't afraid of doing something today he'll regret tomorrow. But if I'm going to be attached to him, I need to have some assurance that he cares if, if he lives or dies. I hear stories of the chances he takes this, and I hope he's just trying to impress me, because if not, one of these days he's going to barge into a situation and come out in a bag. Which is exactly what happened. It can't be that hard. This is not going to end well. Boy, well, you're possessed, so... I haven't had this much fun with him, ever. Alright, well, just walk right in. Oh! Hi! You look like you have soldier gear, but you're in civilians. Who's the hero? I'm kidding. Who's the hero? My great grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. <gasps> I even had a drink from his flask. <gasps> no one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of the story of stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Did he shoot himself? Stuff like that stays with you forever. And only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be a like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. Oh. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. 
And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Yeah, because that's okay. courageous. Oh, playing with stuff you shouldn't have been. People like you will never understand. Yeah, never. Mm. Alrighty. Hey, there's a thing over there. Oh, can I just walk out the back? Oh, how about yours? No? No? Well, I tried. <gasps> mm. Freaky spirits blocking my path. No, little girl. I'm like scared of her and at, and at the same time more scared to find out what happened to her. Oh, look, a bell killer symbol. Spray painting graffiti. Bell killer graffiti is, uh, is unlikely the work of the killer himself, rather danger of cult status. Mm. Okay. Oh, come on. How are these tombs consecrated, but the other one wasn't? Lame. Hey there, ghost. What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, but... Fine. It's about time they sent someone. Look, I think you got the wrong guy. Who are you expecting? Who's supposed to maintain this place? I mean, just take a around. These aren't just rocks, they're reminders. No one wants me, but I refuse to just let my friend go away. I refuse to pick up on Good luck with that. Oh. So you're just gonna stick around forever, making sure your tombstone doesn't crumble away? That seems a bit backwards. Ronan was unusually physiological. Uh, I can't talk today. He doesn't usually say these kinds of things, but he kept going on about karma and how he needed to redeem himself from some past misdeeds. I'm sure, assuming he's talking about the crimes in his past. And that's why he needs to become a cop to atone, he said. It's the only way he could see fixing his life. That guy looks he like a butcher. What? Was that before or after the trials? Are they doing oh, a tour Do in the middle of the night? Is that lighting? This young lady just asked if he stopped before or after the famous trials. Uh-huh. It actually happened a few decades before. So this graveyard was white all Okay. And we're going to walk a little farther now. So if you'll just follow me. Uh, so peaceful now. Some terrible things happen to these people. You creepy onlooker butcher. You got a problem? Hey buddy, you got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy it. I had more awards than the wall space to hang. Then her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row. Oh. Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life then? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. And then there's a Stark. special place just like you. The demons are gonna get you, buddy. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculously dark. That was ridiculously dark. I didn't need to hear that. Oh, random beds. And a sheet divider. Is there a hospital up here? What's this? Yellow fever, memorial plaque. Any brave workers from Salem who made the Panama Canal possible changing world commerce died in this facility from the dreaded yellow fever in 1904. Yeah, it looks like a hospital. In the cemetery? Well, I guess that's not a, that far. I don't know if I want to talk to him. Doctors and creepy. 
Uh, hmm. Cemetery is gonna be full of creepy stuff. Yeah, probably. No, oh, let's let's observe that book, Doctor Trotter's findings. Okay, we're gonna wrap this episode up right here with creepy doctor. Hope you guys are enjoying Ariolan's Heart Rate Gaming. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.